Fa la 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 la. <laughs> you might think it's too early for that, but it's not. Uh, we got our first snowfall here today in Quebec, um, which is not abnormal. I mean, I was kind of hoping it would hold off until after Halloween because I hate to see the kids trudging through that wet snow, but it is what it is. We've done it. We we did it for years when we were little, so I guess it's no different. Um, today I want to share with you a couple of projects that I will be submitting for Lily's uh, 1500 subby giveaway challenge. Lily Lineka here on YouTube is having this huge uh, giveaway and uh, one of the prizes includes in your submissions being considered for a design team call entry. And um, I hope you will accept these Lily for your, your design team call and um, I'll just jump right in here. So what I did is I took one of these uh, small wooden frames with the tiny hinges here and I used snow tech. I applied it all over the frame. Um, then between each of the photos here I have a couple of little um, these are like mirrored snowflakes and I used some tiny flowers from Lily's shell some doodad flowers really pretty and the same on this side then in the corner here I used um, a couple of little leaves from her Shavalicious Zibit store and I added some of the snow text on the leaves and the flowers as well and the flower here is a small gardenia from Walla Creek Crafts I sprayed it with creme brulee cream from Lindy's and then I added a bit of um, antique silver um, acrylic paint by um, Martha Stewart on the, on the tips of the uh, petals and also added, like I said, the snow text. And I have one tiny sweetheart blossom here, another one here, and another one here. And this is just a bead spray that I had in my stash. And up here in this corner, I have a metal snowflake that I added um, stick holes to, and then added a little bit of the snow text as well, but very little. On the berry spray here as well. Is that focusing in? There, you can see the texture. Um, I added a little bit of the snow text on there as well. And actually my biggest challenge for this piece was finding the uh, vintage Santa photos. <laughs> um, but I hope you like the ones I've, I've chosen, Lily. If not, you can always just replace them. And then, to go with it, I don't know if you'll remember from one of my uh, thrift store hauls, but it was a black metal piece. Um, I'd gotten them for 50 cents each and um, I spray painted them white then I added the snow text here as well towel here all over front and back and um, I had also found a wreath with um, tons of bead um, sprays on them and this, the spray itself had like five stems so what I did when I wove them around here there were seven um, seven stems to the candle holder so I just skipped one whenever I put the um, the beads in on the side here and then I have three in a row and then skipped one and had another one there just to have it even you can see the beads down here too next I took um, a rhinestone bracelet and I just cut the pieces apart and I glued some front and back sort of in between spaced in between the beads as you can see here as well and when the light catches it, it really sparkles so um, this is a pretty flameless candle and they're actually coated with wax which is kind of cute um, so what I did here is I added a small doily and then a flower trim and I had it sort of 
you know, going down a bit so it, it would hold the candle in place well. Um, then I took a um, champagne colored um, organza ribbon here and I made like a triple bow and I just, um, I'm sorry, I'm zoomed in here. Yeah, so I made this organza bow and then I just draped it down the sides here, ruffling it a bit. Um, then I added three of the uh, rhinestones at the top here. And added another one of those little metals, metal um, snowflakes, like the one I have on the frame. Um, and it has the lace stickles on it. I love how it looks. So, these are my projects. I really, really hope you enjoy them, Lily. And I decided to do these after I had done a set for myself. And I'll share those with you as well. And the only thing I did different on the uh, candle holder here is that instead of the um, snowflake, I added one of the Prima dangles here. And instead of just having, um, I had a lot less of the tiny rhinestones left. So what I did is I did rhinestone and then the tiny um, pink lily doodad flowers here. And I thought that looked really, really cute too because I have pink in my room. So I wanted the white, the cream and the pink. So that's what mine looks like. But yeah, I thought they looked really, really cute. I like the way that turned out. And um, I just decided to put more on the scent piece here, on the uh, the handle, I mean. I had also um, did the snow text inside the handle. So that's that one. And I had also made myself a frame. And um, of course, with the white and the pink, and this pretty, pretty lady. And the only thing different here is that I have flower and leaves in the corner. I have different um, flowers in between the photos. Same on this side. And um, over here, I have a couple of the uh, larger acrylic leaves that Lily has in her exhibit shop. And I have this pretty, pretty flower that someone sent me as a thank you gift for an order that I placed. Um, then I have a little sweetheart blossom here. A um, Prima stem here. And a bead spray going up the side. So a very classy look as well. But I think it's very pretty in the Christmas theme as well. So. I hope you will enjoy it, Lily. Let me know what you think, guys. Good luck to everyone who is entering. And I'll be um, inserting some photos, of course. Thanks for watching, everyone. Ciao.